Over 15 years ago, Bioware released what many older gamers considered the Canadian video game developer's magnum opus, Mass Effect, an RPG set in a sci-fi setting that took the gaming world by storm in 2007. Due to the success of the first Mass Effect, Bioware immediately got to work on the sequel, Mass Effect 2, which turned out to be an even bigger success than the first game. Mass Effect 3 was then rushed out relatively quickly, and while the third entry in the franchise had a few issues, mostly surrounding the endings, the game was generally accepted as an amazing final chapter to an incredible series. Five years later, Bioware released the next much-anticipated title in the franchise, Mass Effect Andromeda. But in an unfortunate turn of events, it turned out to be what is now considered the worst entry in the franchise yet with numerous issues plaguing the game, such as game-breaking bugs, horrible animations, and lackluster writing to name a few. Now, no matter what one could think of Mass Effect Andromeda as of today after numerous fixes by Bioware, the fact of the matter is that the negative perception of the game put the entire franchise on hold for several years, and for a long time it was believed that this was the end for the franchise. Well, up until December 2020 when the first teaser arrived for the next Mass Effect game, and soon after that, it was revealed that a remaster of the original Mass Effect trilogy was in the works, and in May 2021, N7's old and new all over the world were playing this legendary series once again. And it's now been almost two years since the release of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and the beloved series has seen an amazing resurgence in gaming culture. Despite this, some of you maybe never played any of the Mass Effect games, and maybe some of you played the original versions of the games but not the remaster. Hell, maybe you're trying to find something to keep you occupied until Bethesda's Starfield arrives. And so you may be asking yourself, is it worth playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition in 2023? Well, in short, yeah, absolutely, but let's get into some of the reasons why. First of all, what is Mass Effect? Well, in short, Mass Effect is what many would consider a grand sci-fi epic at the same scale as Star Wars. You play as either male or female Commander Shepard, a special military operative with a custom background that gets thrown into a galaxy-spanning adventure centered on uncovering a mystery that threatens every sentient life form in the known universe. Speaking of which, Mass Effect is set more than 150 years into the future, at a point when the human race has become members of a galactic community of many different alien races. And as Shepard, you become a de facto spokesperson of humanity for much of the story surrounding the three games. This means that despite Mass Effect being a third-person shooter game, many of the most memorable moments of the franchise are whenever you get to make tough choices. Some big, some small, and some that will come to affect the future of the entire galaxy. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. And the cool thing is, Mass Effect was one of the first games to really showcase the consequences of your choices in its sequels, making a lot of the choices you make feel really impactful for you as the player. These choices also include some of the franchise's massive roster of characters, some characters that even become members of your team, and if there's one thing that the Mass Effect franchise is famous for, it's the incredibly memorable cast of characters you meet throughout your adventure. Oh, and then we have the numerous spicy love scenes that cemented Mass Effect as the ultimate alien dating simulator. So if you're into romance-type games, then the Mass Effect franchise will likely become your bread and butter. Speaking of characters, the Mass Effect franchise boasts some of the best voice acting performances in video games, period. Besides the extremely memorable voices of the main protagonist, Commander Shepard, played by Mark Mir and Jennifer Hale, the casting throughout the games is just incredible, with actors such as Martin Sheen and Carrie Ann Moss having a huge presence in the games. That's not to say that the other voice actors behind some of the other characters aren't equally impressive, with actors such as Ali Hillis, Ash Shroka, and Brandon Keener, who portrays the characters Liara Tassoni, Tali Zora, and Garrus Vicarian, respectively. These characters were amazingly brought to life by their respective voice actors, and you'd be hard-pressed to find more likable extraterrestrials in any other game. And these three characters are just to name a few. Now, I've seen newcomers asking whether Mass Effect is open-world or not, and well, not exactly. 
The first game is somewhat semi-open world, as you can freely explore the galaxy between missions. And there's a lot of planets that you can land on and explore by using the Mako terrain vehicle, which can be fun to do if you just want to immerse yourself into the universe. Mass Effect 2 and 3, however, are mostly a string of really great missions that takes you across the galaxy. But there is certainly some freedom involved, especially in what order you tackle missions, and there are some hubs that you can freely explore at your own pace, like the Citadel or Omega space stations. So despite most of the Mass Effect series technically not being open world, it certainly feels like it is simply because of how you journey across the galaxy. Now, when it comes to the remaster, the first Mass Effect is where most of the focus was put during development of the remaster, considering how outdated most of the original game was. The updated graphics are of course a no-brainer, providing improved textures, models, and 4K supports, and they've even managed to make the lighting look great. Well, and most of the time. The biggest plus for me though has to be the smaller things, like the updated camera angle and the removal of the infamous sway effect when using sniper rifles. Oh, and unlike the original game, thankfully you can use all weapons to maximum efficiency if you want to. Now what makes the Legendary Edition so great is that while Bioware could have simply stopped at remastering the first Mass Effect, fact is the team also made sure to include Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 as well. Now while the changes to Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 maybe aren't as drastic, Bioware still updated most of the graphics here as well, to where it just looks really clean compared to the original games. Yes, lens flares can be a bit much sometimes, especially in Mass Effect 2, but in general, all three games look really good, and if you thought that the original games looked aged, then the Legendary version should definitely bring you over. Another big detail about the Legendary Edition is that the remaster includes every DLC released throughout the franchise, all updated according to the respective games. The only piece of content that wasn't remastered and included was the Pinnacle Station DLC, but to be completely fair, I wouldn't say you'd be missing much for not playing it. Oh, and let's not forget about all the unofficial stuff that's come out since launch. There's quite literally a metric ton of mods and unofficial patches released for all three games, and there's just so much quality out there in the modding community that you'll have days or weeks of extra content to look forward to. Well, if you're on PC, that is. To be completely frank with you, the Legendary Edition is still relatively fresh and aside from the hundreds of hours of gaming you'll get out of all three games, there's the previously mentioned modding community that still produces quality content each day. I mean, half my channel is composed entirely out of Mass Effect videos and I simply wouldn't have been able to churn out so much content if the series hadn't been this huge, which it absolutely is. And then Bioware is hard at work with the next Mass Effect game, colloquially referred to as either Mass Effect 4 or Mass Effect 5, and while we still don't know much about the story or the characters of the next adventure, it's pretty much certain that the game will follow in the footsteps of the original trilogy. Case in point, there's never been a better time to be a Mass Effect fan than right now, as there's so much more to come from this incredible sci-fi universe. Now remember to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, Mr. Olten, signing out.